forecast. And Angie, I know you're watching heavy, heavy rains. Heavy rain indeed from Tropical Storm. Debbie, good morning to you, Jonathan. We're still going to be watching this system through the next couple of days. But right now, maintaining Tropical Storm strength, it moved a little offshore. So that center of the system is sitting there. But you can see the rain still spinning in for parts of the southeast, specifically the Carolinas. That's where we're most concerned about the forecast in the coming days. But we've got winds right now sustained at 45 miles per hour from that system. Plenty of flood watches up. 15 million people included in that. And you'll notice those flood warnings for Savannah and Charleston and the areas surrounding it. That's where we We've seen just kind of relentless rain over the past 48 hours. And as this system starts to work its way back to the coast, we're going to see more of that rain in the picture for folks there. Notice by Thursday, late in the day, we'll likely see that next landfall, the second landfall of this system before it moves up the coast and impacts folks across the mid-Atlantic and the northeast and eventually moves out to sea and over portions of Canada uh, down the line. Here's what that rain looks like, though. This is why we're still concerned here over the next day or so uh, across parts of the southeast, specifically the South Carolina coast. Uh, is going to continue to see a lot of that heavy rain. Those bands of flooding will be concerning. And then this kind of threat moves inland across parts of the mid-Atlantic. We'll see uh, that flood threat extending places like Roanoke to Washington, D.C., uh, and dealing with that here through the coming days. As we look at our, our rainfall totals, flash flooding is going to be a big concern. Again, no surprise. I sound like a broken record, but across the Carolinas. Notice that we've got another potential 10 inches of rain in some of these spots, already picking up double digits in a lot of these places. So the flood concern will be there for folks in that region. And then as we look ahead to the weekend, notice that flood threat is really the entirety of the East Coast. We'll see uh, some of that heavy rain focus across parts of the Northeast in New England here as we get into Saturday. And then finally, some nicer conditions across that region. It'll remain sunny and hot to wrap up the weekend out West. Plenty of sunshine for the Midwest in those triple digit temperatures across parts of the South. Jonathan. All right, Angie Lastman, please do keep an eye on that storm for us. Thank you for joining us today. Now